Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new pick a card reading. Today, we're going to be getting you clarity on are you on their mind? So that special person that you are watching this reading for, it can be your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, your crush. What are they thinking and feeling about you at this time? And we'll also get some channeled messages of what they would like to say to you from their higher self. So if you're new to this channel, I am Dr. V. Welcome. It is so wonderful to have you here. I am so grateful to the entire Live Tarot family and all of my amazing private clients. You know who you are. I'm just so grateful for all of you. Thank you for all of your love, support, and for being here. And if you haven't joined us, make sure you do hit that subscribe and get active in the comment section because you'll see that this is a supportive community. Oftentimes when we're on this journey, this path, whether we are in separation or we are constantly going through struggles or obstacles, it can feel lonely. It can feel like people don't understand, right? So this is a safe space for you to come um, and you know get some clarity and feel like you are accepted understood the journey that you're on is understood and you feel value valued and treasured so I hope that that is how you feel when you're here because that is my intention for you so like I said thank you for being here and welcome to all of the new subscribers so today I have three options for you you can be very gentle with yourself. Know that this is a general reading. Not everything may resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. But if you are at that place where you do want specific clarity on your unique journey with your special person, then that's when I recommend that you do have a personal reading. I'm one of the few people who offers the live reading experience where we get together on video call and spirit can answer all of your questions right there in real time. Now that is really transformational. It's very healing and it's just an overall very transformative clarifying experience if you want to move forward and you want answers as well as the video recorded readings those are also the same it just depends on if you like the live experience or whether you don't mind having a reading video recorded and send it sent to you so if you go to livetarot.com forward slash readings you can see my entire menu right there so today let's take a look add your three options. If you'd like to take a deep breath, meditate, you can pick from group number one, number two, number three, or you can pick them all and take the messages that resonate for you. So for group number one, we have the Lapis Lazuli with this deck right here. For group number two, we have the Clear, uh, the clear Quartz with this deck right here. And for group number three, we have the orange calcite and this deck right here. Okay, so go ahead and make your selection and we will get started with group number one. All right, my beautiful group one that chose the lapis lazuli and this deck right here. Let's see, are you on their mind? We're gonna get what they are thinking and feeling about you. We're gonna get channeled messages from their higher self to you. And stay with me till the end because we're also going to get a special message, what spirit wants you to know at this time. Are you on their mind? What are they thinking and feeling about group one? We have the High Priestess. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Chariot. Beautiful. So there's definitely energies here of forward movement, okay? 
I feel like this person, you, they're definitely thinking about you. You're definitely on their mind, in their heart, and in their emotions. And I feel like there is an energy coming through here about them wanting to move this connection forward okay six of wands with the chariot those are very forward moving energies those are very much energies of you know even if it's slow even if it's step by step even if it's one day at a time the outcome i want with you is one of victory, okay? Because the chariot is also about moving forward towards victory. Six of Wands is also about moving forward towards victory. And look, we have, and, and what I find very interesting here, see both of these, if you look at the images on both of these cards, they're also very much images of forward movement, okay? Each of the these people are sitting on sitting on things that are going to move them forward that are flying through the air or you know wheels turning forward so i just feel that this person right now may be in some sort of place in their life where they are feeling stuck and and that stuck energy may be in many aspects of their life right including their relationship with you so I do feel that this person may be going through some sort of difficulties, whether it's um, emotional, financial, um, abundance related, family related, some sort of difficulties or, or some sort of a phase in their life right now where they do feel kind of stuck in one place. You know, where they feel the um, the pain and the frustration of not being able to move forward towards their dreams. And I feel like they're trying to work towards those dreams. And part of one big part of those dreams is their very deep connection with you. I just feel like this person, they really do think that you guys have something special. Okay, it's almost like they they question like what is it about the two of you that you may even be in and out of each other's lives. You may like you know be in that. Uh, I don't I, I don't like that word, but that's the word that's coming to me. For some of you, there seems to be some sort of situationship, you know, where it's like you're always kind of hovering about each other's life. Um, you you're always in each other's kind of periphery. You know, like, you know, you have feelings for each other. You know, when you see each other, there's this magnetic. That's why this high priest is very magnetic attraction. You know, when you're around each other, it just feels like you've been hit by lightning, you know. Um, but unfortunately, it also can manifest in so itself into feeling like you're literally on this boat in very choppy waters. Like it always feels like there's a storm brewing around the two of you right you always feel like you're in this energy of this storm it doesn't feel peaceful like it should right and sometimes you know because we feel such passion we get used to those stormy waters we almost get used to oh this is what love must feel like or this is what passion feels like it always feels stormy it always feels um like it's it's you unpredictable right you don't know what's going to happen today you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and i feel like this person is also very aware of this okay both of you are kind of dancing around each other right now like i said if you're not together but you have feelings for each other you are constantly in each other's orbit but whenever you come into each other's orbit you feel this pull this person feels this pull towards you but for whatever reason, they are stuck in some place where they can't completely follow that pull that they feel towards you. So they are in that mode of struggle, right? There are things that they need to clean up in their life, I feel. If th this person feels like if they want to move forward with you, if they want this relationship, um, if they really want to experience the fullness of this connection of this relationship, because I feel like it feels very incomplete. Okay. It feels like you guys 
want to be together, but you can't be together. Okay. Because of some external force, some sort of life situation, you want to be together. You want to have that experience. They want that experience, but the progress feels very slow. It feels like there is this stuck in the mud energy. Like they're not able to have what they want with you. So there's also a level of frustration. Okay. On both sides. So I feel like if you've been feeling frustrated, group one, so has this person. Okay. Both of you have been feeling some level of frustration around this because you want each other, but yet things don't move forward. And I think that a lot of it has to do with something that this person is struggling with in their own life, that they're not able to clear up, or there's something that is in the path that is in the way that is, um, again, bringing this kind of very stormy energy, like everything feels like a struggle because see this person, they're definitely out of balance right now. Okay. They're out of balance, something in their life, some sort of life force, some sort of poor decisions that they have made have put them in a place where they are not coming from an emotionally balanced state. So this is why you might be noticing that this person kind of blows hot and cold with you. Like sometimes you're around them and they're like very engaged with you. They're very in the present moment. They're very there with you. And then other times you're around them and they seem distant. They seem distracted. They seem moody, right? Because I think they're that whatever they're struggling through right now, they are not coming from a place of emotional balance. They're emotionally embodied balanced right now. So as much as they feel this draw, this pull towards you, as much as they know that you have this very deep, deep, um, deep connection, I just feel like they struggle to maintain the consistency of that connection. You know, it's there, it's not there, it's there, it's not there. See, chop wood. So this is that same energy that I was saying that they need to clean up something in their life, okay? Something in their life is very messy at this time. Something is messy, something is not ordered, something needs to be cleaned up. Um, and this is why their energy, their presence, their attention, their love is showing up inconsistently okay and they know this and and it's constantly on their mind like they are aware of how inconsistent they have been they're aware that their life is a bit of a mess and so you know i feel like you are constantly on their mind but they also know that in order to truly give you what you deserve and what you may desire from this relationship there there's there's stuff that they need to clean up there are messes in their life that they this this person has created okay i feel like this person does have a tendency towards creating messes in their life and um it's almost, I feel like it comes from their lack of balance. They tend to be somebody who struggles with balance. And so they do create messes. And then it almost gives you the energy that as lovable as this person is, as much as you feel this draw towards them, this magnetic attraction towards them, you also realize group one, if you're going to be honest with yourself, that they seem to make a lot of messes. They seem to be always trying to clean things up but it's almost like they're choosing these messes. And then they act like, oh, I'm in this mess, right? They act like, oh, I have this struggle. But the thing is, you've probably come to understand that they created it for themselves, right? Like they are creating these struggles and then they're acting like, oh, I'm stuck in this, you know, like, oh, you know, this always happens to me, but it's not true. You know, they're creating a lot of it for themselves. They're creating a lot of drama for themselves. Yeah. See night wind facing fear, subconscious release and healing. See? So I feel like this person has some sort of subconscious issues, fears, healing that needs to happen. Some sort of darkness within them that keeps creating a certain type of chaos in their life. It's almost like they've become used to the chaos. They become comfortable with the messes and they don't want to admit that they're comfortable with the mess. Okay. And this is why that is a pattern for them. They're out of balance and in their pattern, they seem to be creating messes. 
So I feel like they know this. I feel like it brings up a lot of fear. I feel like when they think about becoming balanced and when they think about um, showing you or, or cleaning up their life to show you that they can be in balance, that they can offer you something, they can take the opportunity of having a beautiful relationship, they want to go for it. See, opportunity knocks, go for it. So it's not that they don't wish to be with you. They do wish to be with you. They want to go for this. I feel like it's almost their own kind of subconscious issues and fears that really hold them back. Okay. It really, really does hold them back. Um, there's a, there's a darkness. Okay. There's a darkness in this person that they struggle with. Um, there's a darkness in them that holds them back and that keeps them thinking of you, thinking of you, wanting to be with you, wanting to be with you. But then it makes them, it makes them create the mess in order to keep you distant. If that makes sense. I mean, I just feel like this person's psychology is very complicated. Like this person, has a complicated history and they have a little bit of this complicated type of thinking. Okay. And I don't think they realize the patterns that they create. So I feel like they're constantly thinking of you, constantly wanting to be with you, having these fantasies about moving this forward, but then self-sabotaging by creating these messes. Okay. And you might probably already know this. And yet at the same time, they're like, I want this opportunity. I want to be with you. Wow. Okay, so let's get some specific messages. Take these as they resonate. And if you could take a second right now to give this video a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. You have no idea how much it actually helps me, my kids, and the channel. I'm in love with you and I'm ready to take action. I want to build a beautiful life with you. See? Opportunity knocks. This is where I feel like, you know, this person, for many of you, depending on where you are, in this journey with them, I feel like for many of you, this person is trying to come out of that energy, right? I'm not going to create any more messes. I'm in love with you. I'm ready to take action. That's part of this opportunity knocks energy. I still see your smiling face in my mind's eye. Of course they do. Of course they do. Tears. When I think about you, I cry. Okay. So see, this, this, there's definite struggle here, right? There's definite emotional struggle if this person just can't seem to get, you know, stuck together. And you probably do see this struggle in other parts of their life as well, group one. It's not just with you, right? You probably see that sto those stormy kind of stormy waters constantly in their general life. See, but this is beautiful. I feel like they are starting to awaken, right? I think, you know, we already saw that here with all these energies of wanting to move something forward. Um, I feel like they are starting to awaken. Um, they're going through an awakening process. And I feel like it might just be in those beginning stages right now where it's like, they're starting to see how they create their own struggle, right? They're starting to see how they create struggle for themselves as well as for you. And that this isn't bringing the two of you any closer together. And I feel like what they want is for the two of you to be closer together. So there is a slower moving realization here, a slower moving awakening, but it makes sense because we have these cards of moving forward, right? The only way to move forward with that six of wands towards victory, chariot towards victory, is to have an awakening to where you are sabotaging yourself and sabotaging this connection and where the beliefs are going wrong. See, I feel like this person definitely has these beliefs within them that they struggle with. These beliefs um, really do hold them back. I feel like they, they, the, the beliefs make them go back to this kind of like messy sort of thinking and messy thinking 
leads to messy situations, right? And this is why they want to release. They want to heal. So this is another energy that's very much like this one right here. This is very similar energy, right? It's time to loosen your hold. It's time to relax. It's time to release your fears, your anxieties, your doubts. It's time to release the self-sabotage. So I love this. And it, it may fine be, you know, take its course, right? It's not going to be something that's overnight, right? It's going to take its time as all transformation does. But I feel like this person is definitely coming to some sort of an awakening process. Okay, so what does spirit want you to know, group one? Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Okay, this is what spirit is asking of you. What is not aligned and what needs to change? And for you, this is a good time to come into alignment with what you really want okay so this is what i have for you if you'd like to have a personal reading with me you could do the live or the video recorded you can also order any of the oracle decks that i've created and used in this reading they're great problem solvers for when you have urgent questions at home everything is at livetarot.com so make sure you check it out thank you so much for being here i'll see you all on the next one my beautiful group number two that chose the quartz and this deck let's see are you on their mind what are they thinking and feeling for you we'll also get channeled messages from their higher self and stay with me till the end because we will also get a special message from spirit to you what does spirit wish to say to you today all right So we have five of cups. We have six of wands. Interesting. Group one had the same placement, the six of wands right there in that central energy. So very interesting. Two of swords. Okay. So I do feel that for many of you, there is some sort of pain that has been happening here. There could be a separation. There could be a temporary separation. Um, there could be things that have been hurtful. There's some grief. I feel like this person, yes, you are very much on their mind, Five of Cups. There's, a, there's something that they're grieving or something that they are um, very deeply hurt or upset around and I feel like right now they are very much in a state of kind of like a mental torture emotional torture between their mind and their heart okay two of swords I feel like this person knows that there are certain decisions that need to be made here um, both in their life as well as in um, their relationship their connection with you but there seems to be, I don't know, there's an energy of I am very mentally tortured. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to go. I don't know what's going to, you know, what is the right thing to do here? How is this going to work? So I feel like this person right now is very, very kind of emotionally off. Um, there's sadness. There's loss. There's grief. They, they have a sense of feeling that they've let you down somehow, okay? They do, they feel really, really bad about certain things that they have done wrong. Now, I feel for some of you, there is a third party situation here, okay? It's coming through very strong. I feel like for some of you, this is the reason why. It, and it doesn't have to be uh, romantic, although it could be, but it can be any kind of a third party situation where there is an emotional struggle, Whatever this wound is, it really runs deep within this person, okay? So I get the energy that if they are not um, showing this right now, like if they are not, um, if they may be silent, if they seem withdrawn to you, if you feel like this person isn't really communicating their words quite just yet, I feel like they are preparing themselves. Like they want to talk to you. Like right now they're going through some sort of very deep wounding. 
They want to talk to you. They want to express themselves to you. But I think they are still preparing what it is that they want to say. What is it that they truly feel? There's just a lot of loss here. And I do, again, feel like for some of you, there is th this loss or this pain runs very deep because it may have to do with a certain decision that this person was forced to make. OK, now take this as it resonates not for everybody, but I do feel that this person feels that they were forced to choose between you and somebody else. Now, that pers other person could be romantic, but it could even be family. It could even be other obligations, responsibilities or kids from a previous relationship. There's something here that this person is obsessing about when it comes to you because it has to do with a decision that they need to still make or a decision that they have already made. Okay, like so they've already made a decision for some of you and now like, you know, of course they're regretting it. They, they feel terrible about it, but they almost, you know, feel like they didn't have any other choice. Um, especially if this is a romantic third party and this person is involved with somebody else, I feel like they had to make a choice and they may have uh, chosen to stay where they are with the other person for various reasons. But though that choice may not have anything to do with their emotions for you, right? Like as in, you know, they may have had to stay there for other reasons, right? And that's not an excuse, but I'm just saying, I feel like they're very tortured about whatever decision they have already made that has separated themselves from you or a decision that they do have to make now and they don't know what to do because I feel like ultimately Six of Wands, they want to be happy and they want to be happy with you, okay? I feel like this person, at the end of, at the, end of the day, they really want to make this work with you. I feel like at the end of the day, they really want to um, be there with you. They want to feel what it would be like to be totally free and to be with you, to explore what this relationship is. Because I feel an energy of interruption, okay? And what I mean by that is I just feel like there was something here that had gotten started between the two of you. There was something here that was slowly progressing between the two of you. And then it got like cut off. It got like interrupted. So something, you know, each journey, each of your journeys is different, but something has happened here that interrupted the flow of this relationship moving forward. Okay. So that is why that five of cups cuts deep. Okay. This five of cups cuts really, really deep because there is this interruption, like where you feel like something is incomplete, something is unsaid, something is unexplored. Like we were supposed to do this, Six of Wands. We were supposed to move forward. We were supposed to have this relationship or we were supposed to move forward together. We were supposed to experience so many things that we never got to experience. It just came to a very kind of, you know, quick end or quick kind of um, detour into a different direction. And that's because there was either a decision that was made that was a bad one or one that is being made right now that is also making it feel very, very hurtful. Okay, so this may be the reason why there is a sense of emotional kind of um, torture, you know, like this emotional feeling of something that is incomplete that is unexplored right and that's why we're getting this beginning see i feel like this person like see right now this is their world see the world they're in right now is this world of cold snow the moon's energy very lack of clarity very cold very distant world right and i feel like through this portal through this door look there is greenery there is warmth there is love, like there is a new beginning through that door. And I feel like the torture, the mental torture and the emotional torture that this person is going through right now with that five of cups energy, and you may be as well, you both may be mirroring each other in that pain, some pain of separation that you can't be together, that you want to be together. You haven't been able to, you know, get it together. Maybe they haven't been able to get it together, but they feel like this is what they're missing out on. 
okay? It's almost like, especially if they're in a third party right now, I just feel like they feel like they're out in the cold. Like this is also very five of pentacles energy, right? Like they feel like they're out in the cold because they can't be with you. They're not happy with the person they're with or in the situation they're in. And they see that if they walk through this door, there is a beautiful beginning with you on the other side of it. But do they have the guts? Okay. Do they have it in them? Are they willing to take that risk? Whatever that risk is. Okay. Are they willing to, to see, are they willing to give themselves a leg up? Because see, I feel like this person doesn't help themselves this is their problem. It's like, even though they may say, or, you know, act like they want to be with you, they may say they want to be with you. They may, you know, express their desire for you. They may express their longing for you. They may be pining for you. We have all of those energies here. There's this energy of like, I am so pining for you, but yet at the same time, are they really helping themselves? Okay. Are they giving themselves what they need to stand up for what they truly want. Okay. And this is something that nobody else can do for them. Like, I feel like this leg up energy here for this person is that they have to get, give themselves that leg up. They have to give themselves the courage to say, no, I'm going to claim you. I'm going to claim this relationship because six of wands, it may not be today, but this is something that we deserve to have and we deserve to work towards, but they can't do it unless they actually give themselves the permission to do so, because I don't know if they are. See, that's the thing. I don't feel like this is about you group two giving them that leg up. Oh, I'm going to support you. Oh, I'm always going to be there. Um, you know, while you are with somebody else, or I'm going to stand on the sidelines while you are, you know, with someone else romantically, or, you know, trying to work it out with somebody with whom it ended long time ago, but you're still there for whatever reason, trying to work it out. Or like, you know, it's a, it's like a family situation, right? Like you, you know, you, you can't let go of whatever family responsibility you feel. You feel like you're stuck there, but you need to be there, right? There's something there where this person has decided not to help themselves. And they're also realizing they can, that they can't expect you to be standing there on the sideline waiting for them while they're still dealing with their other issues. So see evolution, earth changes, climate change and transformation. So I feel like this person knows that in order to have you, they must evolve. Okay. They must evolve out of whatever situation that they are in right now. And that is the only way to truly have you again in their life. Sensuality, express yourself. Yeah. So see, I feel like for the two of you, it may be difficult, especially if you're in some sort of third party, you may be having a hard time staying away from each other because there is, are other people involved somewhere, right? Again, take that as it resonates, not for everybody, but I feel like it's very, it's been very hard for this person to stay away from you if they can't be with you at this time, because you guys have this very sensual relationship. You have this very deep, sensual, physical, mental, emotional bond, and this chemistry that sometimes keeps the two of you stuck with each other, but not evolving forward, right? Like not able to move forward because of whatever the obstacles are. So let's get there some specific messages from their higher self to you. And if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe, thank you so much. You have no idea how much it helps me, my family and the channel. Everywhere I go, I look around as if you will magically be there. See, so I feel like this person is so into you. Like they just, you know, they wish you could just be everywhere they are. You know, when you have that feeling, when you're longing, see with that sensuality, I just feel like there's this longing, there's this pining. It's like, if you're not able to be together, can I run into you somewhere? Like, can I just see you somewhere? Like then I can, I can be in your presence, even though technically I can't, it's like that kind of energy. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. Okay. So yeah, there's definitely some issue there with this person, you know, and to me, that's also very reminiscent of 
for some of you, that third party could be family obligations or manipulation from family, whether it's financial, right? Where they can't find a place for themselves outside of their family's kind of more dominating energy around them. See, I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time. Interesting. So this is, take this as it resonates for some of you, this person may just be at that point too, where it's like, see, again, you're getting this energy, right? Of like, I, you know, I've decided not to, two of swords, right? Like they might be like, no, 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 you know, I can't, I can't do this. It's hiding the emotion underneath, right? But they've, they're making a conscious decision not to let their emotions go in that direction. Okay. So again, that's for some of you, not for everybody. Let's see what else are they thinking and feeling? Yeah. So see, for some of you, there is some sort of mystery as to, you know, where is this leading? You know, um, I feel like for some of you, there is definitely a feeling of we're not sure where this is going. I don't know where this is going to end up. Um, and to me, that is also very reminiscent of a third party situation where you just don't know where anything is going to land. Right. You don't know if they're going to work it out with the other person. You don't know if they're going to work it out with the family or, you know, you, you just don't know where this is going to land. And I feel like that's what this person is also thinking. It's like they want to be with you. You have this incredible connection. There's this sensuality. There's this, you know, beautiful energy between the two of you. But there is some sort of block there that this person, it's still not clear to them. Right. It's still not enough. For them to get out of whatever situation they're in. And that is why they may be going through some solitude here and maybe they need this i think they need this time i feel like this person does need to miss you this person does need some to understand what it would be like for their life to be without you so if they're going through a lonely or solitude time right now where you have withdrawn from them and let them feel your absence let them feel what that feels like i feel like it's it's they're going to feel it very deeply because they're going to see that there is something here that they want and with you, right? That there is a potential here. There is something potentially so amazing that's on the other side of them getting their act together and finally making the right decision of what it is that they choose. And again, it comes back to that two of swords, right? I feel like that decision is hanging in the balance. This person is ready. They're get moving towards through the solitude, maybe taking some time to feel this absence, to feel like what you truly mean to them, they're coming to a particular decision from that space. And that's good. I think they should feel what it's like to not have you around. So what does spirit want to say to group two? Get grounded, empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature, okay? So spirit wants you to remain grounded at this time. Okay, be very practical, focus on yourself, focus on your self-care and making yourself feel good and at peace. So this is what I have for you. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you could do the live or the video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. They're great problem solvers for your urgent questions at home. Everything is at livetarot.com. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one. All right, my beautiful group number three that shows the orange calcite and this deck. Let's see, are you on their mind? What are they thinking and feeling about you? We'll also get channeled messages. What would they wish to say to you? And stay with me until the end because we'll also get a special message from Spirit. What does Spirit want group three to know, to think about? Are you on their mind group three? What are they thinking and feeling about you? We have the king of air, which is the king of swords in this deck. So yeah, that tells me you're definitely on their mind. We have the empress, beautiful. And the 
queen of water or queen of cups. Interesting. Hmm. So I, yeah, I think this is very clear. You are very much on this person's mind. In fact, I'm getting an energy that this person is incredibly attracted to you. Look at this beautiful combination of Empress and Queen of Water energy here. There's something magical in this connection. Um, I feel like this person is somebody who is not quick to fall. This is somebody who is not somebody who's going to fall in love very quickly. This is somebody who can be a bit more strategic. They kind of like to put up the, um, the, the sense of like, I am a logical person. Um, I can be cold, a little bit on the colder side. It doesn't mean that they are cold inside, but they do like to give off that kind of, you know, outer layer. It's like a protective layer that they have of somebody who is more measured, somebody who's thoughtful, somebody who thinks things through before they do it, someone who doesn't let their heart rule their mind, somebody who you know wants to do the right thing first from thinking it over versus letting their emotions carry the day. Like, you know, this is somebody who is very aware of their emotions being very strong so they need to control them more right like they want to make sure that they they don't make an emotional fool out of themselves i feel like this person can also be like somebody who really cares about their image so that's another reason why they keep their image very kind of clear around themselves but i feel like underneath that there is a very palpable desire okay so like this person comes off on the outside as somebody who could be quite you know just kind of calm kind of like you, you don't get the most emotional energy from them but i think underneath there's a lot of passion okay they, they're trying to hide the level of passion that they have inside okay and i think this person doesn't want to admit at this time that you, group three, have brought out something really big in them, okay? Something really, really big. This Empress is such a beautiful energy because it's literally the energy of creation, right? Like you are inspiring this person to want to create more. Now, for those of you who are in that phase of life, this person may be, you know, fantasizing about having a child with you, okay? Or starting a family with you. Um, that's, you know, only for those of you who are in that phase of life. And that's, that's something that you're also contemplating. But this person sees you in a really, really big and beautiful way. As in when someone sees you and relates to you from the energy of the Empress, it's quite, quite um, enchanting. You know, it's quite um, a compliment. It's quite a beautiful um, compliment that they, you know, they in their mind, whether they're able to say it or not, or maybe they're not ready to express that quite just yet. But in their mind, it's like, They've put you on some sort of a little pedestal. I mean, in a sweet way that, you know, you are so alluring. You are so erotic. There's something very erotic here. You are very sexy to this person. Um, you know, when they're around you, they're very physically attracted to you. They're very emotionally attracted to you. You bring out the things in this person that they are used to repressing or kind of keeping under control. Okay. So I feel like as they think of you, that is what is scaring them, okay? That is what is scaring them. What is scaring them is that you are bringing out that wild side, that side of them, that side of them that they don't wish to control, you know? Like, they might be very controlled in their life, but you make them want to come out of control, you know? You you make them want to just go for what their heart tells them to do and not think through it a million times and not weigh the pros and cons and not make, you know, like, like, oh no, I shouldn't do like they, you make them want to just throw caution away 
and just fully be in the moment of whatever they are feeling, their emotions, their sens sensuality for you, their physical attraction to you, their emotional attraction to you. It's like you make this person want to just be free, okay? Be free of all the things that they let themselves be held back by. But see, the reason why this person is so controlled, I feel is because they feel like if they were to give in to this like sense of free emotions, the sense of like, I just don't care anymore about all of my, you know, ways in which I control things. I want to be out of control. It's okay for once in life. I'm going to let myself go out of control. They're afraid of that. They're afraid if they do that, that they're going to just completely fall in love. Like their emotions are going to open up really, really strong. Okay. I just feel like that's, you know, that's their fear. You know, that if they give in to this empress, the, the incredibly magnetic energy that comes from you as the empress, that they will just fall for you. And their emotions will become so deep that it would make them feel like this is dangerous to their sense of control. Okay, that's for most of you. For some of you, I do feel that there is a third party energy coming here, as in you may be the empress in this person's life or the queen of water, or there's some other energy here as well. So take that as it resonates. You know, for some of you, this person, there is somebody else in their life. Like, but I don't know why. I just feel like this queen of water is the other person and you are the empress. Okay, that's the energy I'm getting that this is somebody they care about. This is somebody, for some of you, they might have been in a relationship with, but it's not working, or it stopped working a long time ago, but they're still in it for whatever reason. It could be for the kids, it could be for finances, it could be just for, you know, quote, wanting to do the right thing or whatever it is. But I feel like there, for some of you, not for everybody, there is somebody in this person's life who is still kind of lingering, okay? And it could even be that they're already separated, but there's some sort of lingering energy for this person. There might be some sort of guilt associated with this person. Like your person still has a soft spot for whoever this person is, whether they're actively, actively with them and want to leave or whether they've already left, but this person's energy is kind of still lingering, like they feel sorry sorry for this person or they have some emotional attachment to this person that they haven't completely let go of even though you are the empress of their life that's what I feel like I, I don't I don't know I don't feel like you're this person I feel like you're this person you are this active creative energy like this is where their desire is you are the person they truly desire like if they were to be honest with themselves you are the object of their desire but this person has some sort of history with them but it's, so it's different, right? Like this person has some sort of memories associated with, with your person, right? Like, so it's kind of like your person needs to get this person out of their system once and for all. Like they need to just get to a point where it's like, okay, I'm done. You know, I'm done. I did my best. I tried my best. Yes, we have some sort of history. Yes, we have, you know, memories, both good and bad. Yes, there may be some sentimental attachment, but that's not what is real for me now. What is real for me now is the person I truly wish to be with, which is you, group three. So it's interesting. I just feel very strongly that for some of you, that's what this person is struggling with. Yeah, see, so I feel like they do feel like there is some sort of a burden on their back, not from you, but if you're in a third party, they definitely feel this is, this to me reminds me obviously of the 10 of wands, right? Where you just feel like you're carrying all this shit on your back. Sorry for my language, all this stuff on your back. And, um, you need, you're going to have to put your baggage down at some point. Okay. So I feel like this person may be carrying some sort of baggage um, whether it's a third party or not, it doesn't matter. I just feel like they do have some sort of baggage on their back that they need to finally let go of in order to truly embrace this uh, this connection. 
and and to to really be present with you yeah see never ending story so this is why i feel for some of you there's something here okay there's something here about a third party like i said it, they could be they could be physically here now or they could be some sort of a memory like you know like or they're still kind of like i said a lingering ghost of the past and there's some sort of never ending story that is associated with this it's almost like it it should have ended a long time ago and it just keeps lingering on like a bad virus right like there's something here there's something here for some of you where you're just tired. You're like, okay, when is this story ever going to end? Um, there's something. And it doesn't even have to be third party. It could even be whatever this person's kind of trauma story is. Whatever is making them be aloof or cold or distance, distant or keeping them in that energy of like, I need to control things. That could also be their past trauma or their past stories that they tell themselves of why they are like this and why they can't move forward and why they can't open their heart, right? So depending on your each of your situations, this person may have some sort of never ending story that they're clinging to, right? That is keeping them from truly opening their heart. Because see, I feel like this person this is a, a message of love. Like they want to open their heart to you. They want to be with you. They want to move forward with you. You are an everyday reminder of that Empress energy, that energy of longing, like they're longing for you. They want this so much. They want to open their heart. You know, what is keeping them from fully doing it? Okay. It's time for them to put that baggage down. To me, this never ending story is also this baggage that they're carrying on their back. Okay. And for whatever reason, they still feel responsible to that baggage in some way. See, dreams, believe it. So I feel like this person, you haunt them in their dreams. I think you are their dream come true, both in the dream world and in their fantasy world. Like if you guys are not able to be together at this time, I feel like this person constantly fantasizes about you. They dream about you. Um, if they are in a third party or with somebody else or in some stuck in some other situation, they're constantly fantasizing about you. They're fantasizing about what it would be like to be with you, to hold you, to touch you, to, you know, spend time with you, to be in your presence. Maybe this person hasn't been in your presence in a while. So I feel like you are haunting this person for sure. Um, you're haunting them in their daily fantasies. You are haunting them in their dreams at night. Um, they can't shake you because they can't shake their feelings for you, even if they are trying to at this time, especially for those of you in third parties. So let's get some specific messages from them. What would they say to you from their higher self? And if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe, thank you so much. You have no idea how much it actually helps me, my family and the channel. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? Yeah. So see, this is why I feel like if this person is in some other situation, their spirit is still with you, right? I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. That is true as well. This person may have let you down. They may not have believed in you when they should have. They may not have trusted their feelings for you when they should have. Will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Okay, so this person may have things that they want to say. And I wouldn't be surprised with that um, King of Swords energy, right? Oftentimes people who are in that King of Swords energy are not as communicative, are not as, you know, open to talking as they, they should be or could be. Yeah, so you guys are mirroring each other right now. So I feel like this desire, this longing that you have is very mutual. Both of you are longing for each other. Both of you are desiring each other at this time and to me that's also very much about that um empress energy right like there is a strong mirrored desire longing attraction between the two of you there's a synchronicity you both feel the same way about each other see this is why i feel like there's something here um for some of you i just feel like okay there's two energies one is this person 
empress energy like they see themselves married to you having a family with you or you know having that future with you okay this is something they truly truly deeply desire want and are moving towards and wanting to create a space or path towards for others of you i feel like this person is married or committed to somebody else okay and they're feeling very divided they're feeling very torn between their feelings for you and having this idea of starting a new life with you. You are the empress. You are the future. Like they see you as, okay, this could be my future, but then why am I still holding on to the past who I think is this queen of water right here? Okay. There's something here lingering with the past that this person is unable to fully decide or, um, resolve okay so i feel like that is their challenge for many of you this person's challenge is this why are they still trying to save something here that may have been dead and gone long time ago and it doesn't have to be a specific marriage it can even just be a relationship yeah okay so wow so this person is definitely needing to get to a point where they have to stop deceiving themselves they need to get honest about what are their true feelings okay and and they don't want to deceive you they don't but they they don't want to deceive you i don't think they're trying to deceive you but they may have inadvertently because they didn't want to hurt you they may have deceived you because they didn't want to you know um face the consequences or the responsibility right so be careful you know with knowing exactly where this person is coming from what are they thinking because sometimes in their deceiving of themselves and not telling themselves the truth without realizing they they deceive you as well because they keep you in the dark about what their true situation is and what their true feelings are so i feel like spirit is saying be aware of that you know just be don't be in a mode of you know deceiving uh yourself or you know letting this person you know say things that aren't going to come to fruition right because it's not that they're bad they're a bad person but they may just you know say things that then they can't promise or deliver upon so what does spirit want you to do dance with life do something to change your energy okay dance with life this is such a beautiful card i feel like this is like my i, I love to dance i'm a dancer at heart so i feel like this is my favorite card in this de deck and i love that that's what you got group three dance with life do something to change your energy so this is what I have for you. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the live or the video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading. They're great problem solvers for um, answering your urgent questions at home. Everything as is at livetarot.com, so make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one.